Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So he brought other people. Hey, he gonna be on the podcast. Two days before that, I shared a conversation. Mob James called me. He's never been able to call me directly. He can't call my number, and I don't have his number to call him. So he's lying, saying I called him and apologized. Well, I heard him say that on the Unk have always been the middleman mediator. Always. Me and him have never talked directly one-on-one. -on -one. He would have to call somebody and say, hey, can I get Charleston number? He's never been able to call me down. I don't fool with them niggas like that. Them niggas ain't got nothing going on in life for me to have, for them niggas to have my phone number. None of them niggas. So he called somebody two days before that. They text me, hey man, Mob Jane wants you to give him a call. So shoot me his number. Shoot him my number. So we talk. He tell me, man, my brother died and woo, woo, woo. I'm not with it no more, man, but it's like you taking our hope. I'm not trying to give hope to no grown man. I don't give a damn about a grown black motherfucker or a grown nigga making wrong choices and decisions. That go from Nipsey or Hustle, that go to DMX, that go to George Floyd, that go to my brother in prison. That go to my 17-year-old son. Give a damn about no nigga making wrong choices and decisions. Nigga, you grown? Fuck you grown niggas and how y'all feel about what I'm saying. I got a youth organization, nigga. Turn, turn me off if you bother about what I'm saying. But I stand on the fact it's fuck the Crips and the Bloods. And whoever died behind it, they died in vain. What about the people they killed? So Unk invited him to come down and getting paid. He bring Raymond Washington's daughter and, and her baby daddy. We already know they coming. So I get on the podcast that Tuesday and talk about the Mob James conversation. Unk tell me, hold that for Thursday. We ain't gonna give them all of it, right? This shit is all, we know he coming. We know what we gonna talk about. We already know how he feel. He already know how I feel. This might get volatile. I got an AR-15 pistol, nigga, with over 300 rounds out in the car, just in case it go wrong. Wow. I got another pistol on me, nigga, with 30 rounds. 15 in the clip and 15 in the pocket. Mm -hmm. I pack this every day, though. Mm -hmm. Not only that, I got my other nigga there, my other nigga there, and my other nigga there with Dewberry there. Just in case this nigga want to trip about anything. So when I see him, I see he got the Pyru colors on with the Pyru hat from head to toe. I notice he go back to the car and get his pistol. Mm -hmm. I notice the two buttons on his shirt. They watch me sit the phone up. And if you, watch, if you watch my podcast from Instagram, from YouTube to Facebook, you'll see all the recordings for Game Related is from that side view right there. Mm -hmm. Because I sit my phone. What he just say, man, you need to get you one of them things to hold yeah, the phone. Yeah, yeah, that's what I you. ain't got now. What I tell him, man, I'm hully gully. <laughs> I sit it on the side right there, hully gully. So he make it. They, every, every, they know that. I don't know I got that pistol on me every day. You ain't going to catch me without it. Every day, nigga, and it's, uh, and it's 50 other niggas in the studio. You think we gonna let a nigga out of California come down here and do anything to me? We they can talk that shit all they want to, my nigga. But, uh, nigga, ain't, I'm well protected. By God. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.